Hi everyone. I hope you're staying warm during these winter cold nights. I'm going to read a book called The Snow Blue Inn by Diane Curtis Reagan, illustrated by Doug Cushman. Emma sees dark clouds boiling above mountain peaks. Snow is coming to the Snow Blue Inn. Is Cousin Abby coming down the trail? Not yet, not yet, calls Mr. Al. Storm, storm. Abby and I will build a snow cat, Emma tells the frosty window pane, and make a snow cave just for two. Upstairs in her cold and tiny room, Emma dresses her doll in winter clothes. She hopes Abby brings her doll too. Emma hangs up a banner she painted all by herself. Welcome to Emma's sleepover. She checks again for Abby, even though Mr. Al is keeping watch. Mama makes the rounds with extra blankets and firewood. Emma helps. Snow begins to fall as guests arrive. And arrive. And arrive. The snow blue in fills up quickly. Emma hangs the no vacancy sign. Time to light the inn's lamps. Emma sets a small table with two bowls and the prettiest lace napkins. Mama serves her famous winter stew. The table fills up as more guests arrive. Mama tells these cold and hungry travelers she will squeeze them in. Emma eats supper all alone at the little table. After dinner, guests are gather in the parlor. Emma puts an empty chair next to hers for Abby. A baby cries. His father hushes him with a round of sleep little bear. Grandmother Rabbit joins in, then Mrs. Deer. But not Emma. She won't feel like singing until Abby comes. More travelers arrive, tracking in snow. They shiver in front of the fire. I want to go home, a baby raccoon wells. Shh, says his grandpa. Mama gives away her room to the squirrel family. Wind howls, splattering snowflakes against the windows. Where are Abby and her mama? Are they cold and wet and hungry? The snow blue in is full, full, full. Mama says as the guests settle in for the night. Emma bundles up and goes outside to look for Abby. She sees the Fox family looking at the no vacancy sign. My mama says the inn is full, full, full. Emma thinks about Abby and her mama out in the blizzard with no place to stay. I guess there's one more room, but it's tiny and cold. Emma helps carry bags to her room. It's perfect, says Mrs. Fox, yet Emma knows the bed is too small for two. She pulls down the banner and fetches her doll. Mama comes to greet the newest guest. I'm proud of you, she tells Emma. Outside, wind hushes and the night grows calm. I miss Abby, Emma tells her doll. She and Mama settle into makeshift beds in the parlor. Popcorn with extra butter makes a hard floor seem softer. Mr. Al taps on the window. Here, here. Now the snow blue in is full, full, full. Emma's sleepover has finally begun.